I always wonder how fast can you go on a wing. So for this setup I'm trying the kite front wing. You can see the comparison. This is W1000 versus W671, the, the kite front wing. The stabilizer is the same. And this is a data sheet from the SEB website. I don't know how much you can trust. The drawing numbers and the legend don't really match in thickness, but whatever. The best way to test is just to get in a water and test. So, uh, previously on my W1000, I reached 21 knots in mostly offshore wind. And I was trying to see how much faster you can go on a much smaller wing, kite wing, basically. And roughly the same conditions offshore. Here I'm waiting for some gusts uh, because yeah, came a little bit late. Pumping wise, it's much harder to get on kite wing because it's like this surface area of 570 square centimeters versus like 980. So it's you need a lot of physical uh, pumping to actually get up. But once you're up, it's fast. It's like crazy fast. Super loose. Pumping-wise, not the best choice. Yeah, like almost super inefficient in pumping. The main thing for the swing is speed. You can still jibe, you can still control. Uh, I was really wondering, 21 knots on W1000, how much faster can I go on this wing? This is when I hit uh, seaweed. Yeah, there's a bunch of seaweed. On, on over 20 knots, when you hit a strain of seaweed, it's like you hit a wall. You just fly over right away. You can see pumping, how much physical effort to actually get get up flying. The wind was, I don't know, probably 15, 17 knots. Uh, the wing I'm using is 5 meter uh, Nash Matador. As I see with the day was very nice offshore, mostly offshore wind, a little bit of seaweed, but not too bad. And so I ended up reaching 22.2 knots. I was squeezing everything on this setup, so I reached 22.2 knots. In comparison, when you go 21 knots on W1000, it's much harder to control, like, you really need to pays crazy amount of attention and it's scary on over 20 knots versus the kite wing W671 is much easier to control on speeds like over 21 knots way better feeling when you ride fast on a small wing it feels like you're much more in control if you think the W1000 much bigger wing you would think the kite wing would be so much faster, but in reality, it's not that much difference. It's only one nut difference between W1000 and the kite wing. So, uh, mostly what matters is uh, conditions. So, it has to be probably glassy to go even faster and maybe smaller board. But I'm not sure, it depends on the wind if you can get up on a sinker board in these kind of conditions. On this spot, and this day, I could not get up on a sinker board 100%. I had to use 60 liter. Maybe if you have more like speedy wing, you could do one, two knots, but at the most, probably two knots, that's it, on top of 22. So I would think like you can pick 24 knots if you have straps. Probably smaller board, glacier water would be most contributing factors. 